Guys, look, if you have a cut or severed extension cord, power cord, it's not that hard to fix. You can fix these as good as new for about five bucks. I'm gonna teach you how to do it right now. You don't have to go buy a new one for 40 bucks. Let's do this. This applies not just to a power cord or an extension cord, but even if on any cord, like if you have a power tool and the cord got cut, maybe you were using your skill saw and you hit the cord, it happens. This is a really great skill to have because you'll never have to buy another cord. Um, and if you ever see somebody throwing one out, say on a job site, it got damaged and they're throwing it out, grab it and fix it, you'll have a brand new cord. Or you can sell it on Craigslist just for like an extra 20 bucks, something you can do on your free time, make a little cash for yourself. Um, okay, let's get started. Um, first of all, your damaged area, you have to clean this really good, okay? Grab a rag, some soapy water, clean this whole section good, okay? about a two foot section. Okay, and then take a wet rag and wipe it down to get that soapy residue off of there. You need it to be clean. Um, because when you put the shrink wrap on, you need a clean surface so that it will bond with it so you'll have that airtight fit, that waterproof, watertight fit, okay? So, there's two things that you're gonna need to pick up from the hardware store, okay? I'm gonna hold it up to the camera so you can see it. You need the shrink wrap here. I'm just gonna hold it here. You can pause it, you can take a picture with your phone. Write it down, okay? And then you're gonna need to pick up some of these crimps, okay? These are also shrink wrap crimps, okay? Those, two are, those are the only two things you need. The other tools you probably have, but if you don't, let me just show you real quick. You may not have these, uh, electrician's pliers, okay? These are awesome. Probably about six bucks, eight bucks, something like that. These are the best. You're gonna need a lighter. You're gonna need your razor knife, but look, your razor knife, you see that blade? Okay, those are electrician's blades. Uh, grab one of those, or grab a small pack of those, and you just switch it out. You can use any utility knife. You just switch the blade. That's all you do, easy. Okay, now, here's my damaged area of my cord. It's not completely cut, but we need to cut it, okay? So check it out, just cut it. Bam, okay? Now, like I said, this is where that blade comes in. The reason why you want this is because it just fits it into the side of the cord. We're gonna cut about two inches off for now. Come down about two inches, okay? You'll cut the rubber coating off the outside of that cord, but it won't damage the cords on the inside. If you just have a regular type utility knife with a regular blade, you can use that if you're careful, but it's just, it's easier just to use one of these. If you're gonna to go to the hardware store anyway, just grab one. Okay, peel it back. Cut off that excess rubber sheathing. Okay. And I'm not a journeyman electrician, I'm a remodeler, but this is a repair that I've done many times and I kind of got it down. So, you know, once you've done it a couple of times, I mean, it's not that hard. Okay, got to do both sides. Peel it back a little bit, cut off some of that excess to get it out of your way. Okay. Also, you're gonna need a pair of pliers. I forgot to mention that. You're gonna need a pair of pliers for these crimps to crimp them down. Okay, there. Now we have nice clean cut, the wires are exposed. Now, put these on first. First thing, you don't wanna crimp these wires and then realize, oh shit, you forgot to put these on. Okay. Slide this bad boy on. We're not going to heat it up until later. That'll be later. Okay. Now for this repair. Now, you see these little holes right here? Boom. You got the biggest one. You come down. It's a little smaller. You come down again. It's a little smaller. We're not going to use the biggest one. We're just going to come down one from that. Okay. You're going to strip off about a half inch off of each one of these.
Okay. Twist each one of these. Okay. Now they're all nice and solid, twisted together. Okay, now we take our crimps. We're gonna need three, obviously. One for each. I wish I had a nice shop set up with a nice professional looking work table and a nice background, and I will, but uh, I'm renting an apartment right now. We sold our house two years ago, and we're gonna buy another one. But for now, we're just renting, so I'm making do with what I got. Okay, so we're about to do these crimps. So let's recap. Wash it good. Mine doesn't look clean, but it is. This is like a heavy duty primer that's just baked on here. It's not coming off, but these are, I scrubbed these. These are nice and clean. These are ready. Okay, so cut your cord. Strip back about, oh, about two inches of your outside rubber coating off of there. Okay, that's what you use that for. Come down about two inches, make a cut, peel it back, cut off that excess with your electrician's pliers. Okay, now I got over an inch on each of these wires exposed. I got a half inch of the copper wire exposed on each of them. Twist them so they're nice and solid. You don't have all those loose wires sticking out. Okay, it's good to go. Ready to crimp. Okay. Let me do one at a time. Okay. Here we go. You got your crimp, you got your exposed copper wire, slide it in. Now you can see that you got your rubber coating and then you got the inside metal piece here. That inside metal piece, that's the part that you're gonna crimp down. So this copper wire is gonna go about a quarter inch in, okay? Or right to the middle, okay? Obviously it's gonna go right to the middle because the wire from the other side is gonna have to come in and they're basically gonna be touching. Okay, and it doesn't let you go in any more than that anyway, so you're good. So let's crimp that baby. I'm gonna put the corner of these pliers right in there by the right by where I slid my wire in. Grab with both hands, squeeze it good. Okay, careful not to crimp the other side because you want to leave that open for the other wire, obviously. One more. Bam, look at that, beautiful. Okay, let's do the other one. Obviously white to white, black to black, green to green. If you got your end of your copper wire twisted good to a nice point, you should be able to just slide it in there. You shouldn't really have to twist it like I did. I just did it just for the hell of it. Okay, that's in. Now that they're both in, I can crimp this whole entire crimp. I don't have to worry about just getting the end or the corner of it. Alrighty, give it a little wiggle, nice and strong. Guys, I just had a job where we had a skill saw and the cord of the skill saw was hit. The guy was cutting and he went to bring the skill saw back, the blade was still moving and it nicked that cord just for a second. And that was all it took to just completely cut it in half. And so, you know, and it was a brand new skill saw and it's like, oh, I mean, that could really ruin your day. But when you know how to do this repair, it's not that big a deal. I fixed it, good as new, took about 20 minutes. So really great skill to know here. This is really good to know for anyone, whether you're a young contractor or a homeowner. I got another video coming where we're gonna replace the end of the cord. Um, so, that's coming. That's another common repair. The end of your cord, they get damaged all the time. Sometimes they overheat if you get the cheap ones and they just kind of get fried. Um, sometimes maybe one of the prongs will break off. It'll get damaged. The wires, the wires will come loose. So I'll be doing another video soon of how to replace the end of the cord, good as new too. But for today, for today we're just gonna do this. So it'll be kind of a two-part video. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Boom.
done. Like I could use this cord right now. It's it's done now. Obviously, we don't want to do that. Okay, now you slide your sleeve over. Bam. Actually, wait, we're gonna heat these up first. Almost forgot. Because these are shrink wrap too. This is a shrink wrap rubber sleeve, but these are too. So you kind of get double strength. Now when you heat these up, they're basically gonna start to melt. You're gonna get right to that point where they're just starting to melt, and then you're gonna stop because you don't want them to totally melt, obviously, but they're gonna they're gonna start to melt. So you're gonna get it right to that point, and you'll see them shrink. Okay. I can see it just barely starting to melt. I can see it shrinking around. I'll give you a little bit closer look. I'm not done yet, but you can kind of see how it's working. You're gonna to want to be in a well-ventilated place. I'm in my garage with the door right open right now next to the next to the entrance. So obviously you want to do this outside or do it, you know, maybe get a fan going or something like that. Okay, got the two side pieces. Let's get the middle zone. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now you can see how it shrank up. It's a nice airtight fit around the wires. Okay. All right. We're done. Done with that. Let's do the sleeve. Almost done. You're gonna to have to do this kind of in thirds. The whole entire thing is not gonna shrink up all in one shot. You're gonna to have to like do one side, turn it maybe a quarter turn or maybe a third of a turn. Okay, that looks good. I can see it shrinking around. You can see how it shrank around all those crimped spots. Airtight, waterproof, okay. I'm gonna turn it a little bit About a quarter turn, maybe more. Okay, it's looking good. Look at how it shrinks up to it. Just airtight. Okay, now one last side. Got more than half of it. No more than half of it. All right, guys, I'm calling it done. Boom. Beautiful. Let's test it out. Okay, let's plug a work light in. Ready? Let's get some of this crap over. You like my little work table on here? Okay. Bam. Done. There you go. You never have to buy another cord again. Okay, it's super strong, it's waterproof. There you go. So, my next video is gonna be where we replace the end of the cord, so if the end of your cord gets damaged, easily fix that for about five bucks too, good as new, so that's coming. Check out my other videos, thanks for watching. If you're still here, appreciate it. Uh, subscribe, turn on the bell. Thank you.